Yo, Red Supreme, back at y'all with a video. Hey, man, I wanted you guys to know something, man. Um, domestic violence is a big problem in the black community, the white community. It's a big problem in America, especially since this, uh, you know, coronavirus epidemic, man. But let me get into the uh, the story real quick. Um, the reason why I talk about this is because, you know, this is a real situation. Um you got a guy that's an, well that was an NFL football player with the Seattle Seahawks. Now, your boy Chad Wheeler was born in Los Angeles, California, nineteen ninety four. Okay, he was twenty seven years old. Well, he's twenty seven years old. Let me say that, and uh, he got into a situation and he put hands on his black girlfriend. Now, he's been kicked off the team, and now we're waiting to see if charges are going to get pressed. Now, you have content creators like Chrissy. Uh, this woman has made excuses for Chad Wheeler. See, this is the problem. When black women, when black women information falls to the wayside, they don't want to say, like, well, sister, we were wrong. White men are doing the same things that black men are doing. You know, the same things that I told y'all black men do, you got to stay away from a lot of white guys because they're crazy too. See, she didn't criticize Chad Wheeler. She used this video as an opportunity to say that black men do it more. So in reality, she blamed black men for what Chad Wheeler done. Maybe if the black father would have protected her. See, this is the thing, you guys. Anytime there's something... With a black woman getting victimized by a white man, black women will turn around and blame black men for the situation. But keep in mind, black women are strong. Black women are educated. They are independent. Black men can't tell them what to do. White Jesus came and gave her ass whooping from hell. Now, I'm not laughing, but I'm just telling the truth. White Jesus gave an ass whooping from hell. Now, I don't know what happened. But white Jesus felt like she deserved that whooping that he gave out. Now, I'm not going to come here and say all white men to do this because I didn't make this video to trash white men. I made this video to show black women that they do not care about black women because when white men beat their sisters, they will turn around and say it is the black man's fault. In black women's eyes, white men can do no wrong. In black women's eyes, white men can do no wrong. Chrissy blamed black men. She protected Chad Wheeler. She spent more time in her video going after black men instead of blaming the man who assaulted that young black woman. Now, word on the street is he beat her so bad. She passed out and he ate dinner next to her body. He, believed, he thought she was gone. In other words, he thought she was dead. In other words, he thought she was dead. But like I'm saying, man, um, content creators like Chrissy will never hold black women accountable and she'll never hold white men accountable. The reality of it is this. You know, black women, they run their mouth. They talk a lot of trash. And then Brad wasn't having it. Brad wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the thing about it is black men are going to tolerate black women a whole lot more than other races. You can say, well, this happens more than this happens more with black men. Of course, it's going to happen more with black men, because for the most part, black men date black women. Interracial couples are the minority, regardless of what you guys are trying to say. And I want I, I'm going to address this as well. Nobody is trying to stop black women from swirling. This is a this is a clear case of swirling going wrong. Black women must take the L. Chrissy do not want to take the L. She's going to make a million excuses and say black men do it too. Instead of holding this young man accountable for what he did to this beautiful young black woman, Chrissy turns around and say black men do it too. See, black women can never hold an L because I'm going to tell you why. If Chrissy spent the majority of the time 
talking about this man, which is a white man, swirlers will look bad. So in order, in order to give damage control, she's going to say, well, all men do this. We can't just look at this poor white man. Maybe he had a bad night. Maybe he was on medication. See, they're looking for excuses for Chad Wheeler. But let me tell y'all something. If Chad Wheeler was a black man, oh, Chrissy Tone would have been a whole lot different. Chrissy would have drugged this man if he was a black man. White Jesus gave out an white Jesus gave out an ass whooping from hell. And I'm not saying this to make fun of the young lady, but that's the reality. Okay? Was she running her mouth? Who knows? Did she believe that she can run her mouth with that white man the same way that she does with black men? Who knows? But I'll say this. White men are not going to have the same patience for your mouth and disrespect like black men. If more black women dated white men, trust me, domestic violence will rise. If enough white men dated black women, you'll see more than you'll see more of this. I'm going to say it again. If more white men dated black women, I promise you, you would see more of this. Domestic violence. Protecting Zaddy. I'm just saying now, we are not mad. We don't care if black women swirl. The reality of it is no one wants them. Now, you have some black women that are decent, but those women fall in a small, those are the minority. The decent black women are only like 20 something percent, maybe less than that. We don't care if black women swirl. We're not losing out on anything because I'm going to tell you like this. The women, that, listen, the majority of black women that swirl are already been ran through by black men in the black community. They are taking leftovers to the white community. The same way that you say white women are bringing their leftovers to the black community. Oh, yeah, it works on it works the same way. On the other hand, these black female swirlers are single mothers. And the rest of them have been ran through. And some of them are single mothers that have been ran through. And even the ones that are not single mothers, they've been ran through in the black community already. Red Supreme, man, telling you guys no lies. It is what it is. I've seen Chrissy make a million excuses for Chad Wheeler and said, well, a black man would do the same thing. So what she did was... She took the heat off of Chad Wheeler and made it seem like all men would do this. But see, it doesn't surprise me. She protects white men, but she'll go after black men. You dig what I'm saying? And black women are so jealous of white women that they are trying to steal white men away from white women, but it's not going to happen. And the reality of it is, I'm not trying to stop swirlers from swirling. I don't want them anyway. I don't want somebody with an IQ that low. I don't want somebody that praises white Jesus. You dig what I'm saying? So no, black men, the real ones, we are not upset. They can get lost because Red Supreme got the sauce. They can get lost, Jack. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. I'm talking to you swirlers. Yeah. Anyway, man, I'm going to wrap this video up. But like I said, Chrissy protected this white man and blamed black men. Made the video about black men instead of the man that abused this black woman. Anyway, this is Red Supreme. Chrissy, shame on you. And shame on other black female content creators. Just shame on other black female content creators who are like you. Anytime something happens to a black woman. Anytime a, anytime a white man does something to a black woman, they turn around and say, well, black men will do it too. Protecting Zaddy, their master. I'm out. <laughs>